Good Equity Podcast and streaming show, the number one comedy business, business comedy podcast in the world. Yeah. Woo! Human soundboard. Yeah, yeah. Today. No, no. <laughs> I don't have any soundboard. Me, 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 me. No, I have it. Oh. I do it with my mouth. Sometimes I make it in my mouth. I'll just let that sit. There's a lot of people out you there gotta, who get the joke that you don't get. You gotta make in your mouth. You talking about jizz? All right. We're 2020's best small, medium enterprise business advisory podcast in the United States. We're 2021's best podcast and streaming entertainment studio, Eastern United States Media Innovator Awards 2021. And we're 2022's Global Lux Awards or something like that? I, yeah, 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 sure. Yep. That's the one. We just rebrag everything. Like Trump. Like Big Daddy D. Big <laughs> Daddy T. Listen to us on the iTunes, Apple Podcast app, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, Samsung Podcasts on the Galaxy Phone. Yeah, we're on that as well. This episode brought to you by Biome, your gut biome test. Get uh, gut intelligence test supplements with our link on health insights, personalized food recommendations, and precision supplements formulated just for you. Get that flora and fauna going. Yeah. What's your what's your gut about? It's fauna, mostly fauna. What's your gut three's gut box all about? Mm-hmm. Shout out to GP. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's get it Do started. This, this is show, gonna be a loose know. one. Oof, this God. could be a no guest loose podcast. What about my sweat equity? Howdy got it. Sweat equity. Sweat 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 equity. My sweat equity. My, my, my sweat equity. I should be mad at you for getting me addicted to nicotine gum. <laughs> I didn't do that. Um, I didn't chew it for you. That's fair. Uh, I I blame um, I blame Truth for not telling me how great it was. It's pretty cool. Growing up gives me a little pop, and now I'm I'm just like just a little pop. I'm chain gumming. I'm chain chewing. Yeah. Your mouth's gonna start rotting. It's I can feel I get I'm already I just got to the point where I'm getting like a, a canker sore I think. Ew. Isn't that from Gross. that? I mean, yeah, probably chewing on the inside of your mouth all the time. That or eating too much box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I say when I get up. Soundboard's got a new look. I gotta <laughs> relearn all the buttons. Uh, um, what were you? You were texting a Russian. Not our friend Vadim from the previous episode. No, it's a different one. There's a website, and I don't have it, but I'll put it in the show notes, I promise. Uh, they basically, I don't know how they're getting these phone numbers, but it'll generate uh-huh. a, a Russian cell phone number. Okay. And then it has, like, copy and paste it in Russian, like, the Kremlin is lying to you, something, you know, like, huh. just straight up direct texting. And I got a read receipt. So, thought that was interesting. So you're hoping the person on the other end is like legit person. Well, I mean, you know, I, I thought about like what what could you get, like what could you steal from me digitally Just yeah. by me texting, and I was like, eh, I don't think it's any big deal. Well, they got a legit phone number. <laughs> yeah. To maybe cold to call the, with. I had to do the plus. And you what, you want to text one right now? Uh, yeah. I would have to look it up. Say, how big is your wiener? Oh, I didn't even think about that. We could have texted them whatever we wanted. Right. Yeah, maybe it would get their mind off of everything. Oh, man. I can still do it. I, I can vamp while you're looking this up. I got, I got a... a Russian. Well, I got an interesting phone call. <laughs> you know, I've been on those dating apps. I, I compare them to digital marketing in a lot of ways. Uh-huh. Um, what? Yeah, because you're... We're in the digital marketing kind of field, and so... The dating apps are kind of similar to that. I got an interesting uh, dating app uh, gal that ghosted me like three years ago. Uh huh. This is really uh, strange. So she te- she texts me. This is a girl that straight up ghosted me and uh, called me today. It was almost like she was in AA to make an amends. Oh, nice. She she wanted to apologize for ghosting me. Wow, we what? I was like, huh? 
I was Dude, like, that's kind of crazy. Now, wow. I give her I give her points for uh, doing that, except for the thought I've ne- I haven't thought about it in probably two and a three quarters years. Right. <laughs> right. Like now I'm trying to do the math. Well, it's like uh, so like you know I, I probably was like at the time I was probably like well that's a bummer, but uh, I didn't give it much more thought than that. I just go okay, she's a flake, whatever, no big deal. You know we only. I think really this is hard for me to talk about because I, I know extra beyond what you want to talk about on the podcast. No, there's in not, general, just in, in general, there's not much more. I'm just trying to figure out who it was. I don't, you never, I don't think you ever met her um, or him. I'll protect it. <laughs> Uh, you don't know. No, we, I think we went out once. You know, this is, I think I told you she came to a stand up show and she was oh, doing all this bullshit. That's uh, we, what happened. That's we, why you got ghosted. No, well, that's what I thought. You know, I really, that, I had to really go back in, in the text that we had and I was like, the last text is like, um, what's it called? I'll, uh, I'll leave you some sh- uh, tickets at the, at the front. Right, that's the last text we had at the at the Ebor Improv, the Tampa Improv, and I go, I'll leave you some tickets under your name, plus one or whatever. The backstory behind that is like the night before we were hanging out, and she's telling me all this stuff about, um, you know, basically how like virtue signaling she she was, and like uh, how I need I need religion in my life, or I need some kind of like, I'm like oh. Um, this this seems like I don't maybe I I have a thing for chicks that like to project, but um, it seems to be a common thing. Well, so she started talking to me about all this stuff, and I, I philosophically it was just going back at her. It was a friendly conversation, but I think I made her feel not that great. Why? What did you do? I was just like, well, you know, you claim you're this, but. Yeah, you oh, told you me you were this. Oh, you fucking doubled down on her ass. Yeah. Huh? You could well, just take a nice apology. No, 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 no. Uh, this is I'm talking about three years ago. Oh, 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 I'm, oh, oh, I'm oh, going oh. night before. I got. You. I did a stand up show. I gave her tickets. I see. She showed up with a friend. I went into religion in my act, at kind of at her, a little bit. Right. Because it, it was top of mind. Probably I knew you were doing your comedy at me. Well, uh, some people do feel that. I do get people after shows like. Uh, what you said was offensive, and like, right? It's like, who touched you? Who hurt you? Yeah. Like, it's not, it's not me. Uh, the two hundred ninety nine other people laughed. Sorry, um, you know, and so I was like, wow, she really, I and I'm never really too mean. So I, I, I know myself that I know, like, I didn't go hard in the paint on it on either the night before or during the during the show, but I definitely would like poked the bear a little bit. And uh, I thought it was from that. So I never, like, I think we, she was like, oh. I'll, thought it was God's wrath. She never waited around after the show. Because I was like, I'll be out of my set. We can go do something or whatever. And um, <laughs> and just was a no-show. I think she left during my set. And so. <laughs> so Slammed the door real hard. Well, I'm always like. <laughs> but part of me. Part of me is like, I didn't. I'm just trying to make people laugh. This is a different stage it's a little stage like uh it's a different setting you know yes um and then that was our last text was about leaving her ticket so i was like i think we made plans to meet up after and she didn't show up and i was like hmm, okay well she's a flake but she called today and was like hey what i did was not cool um i read some article that about ghosting that that it's actually like a better way to break off ties and i was like yeah, I don't think I agree with that article, but I didn't really, I wasn't like sobbing about it, you know? Yeah. The dating app stuff, until you're really dating someone seriously, it's like, there's going to be an element that they could ghost at any, any moment. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, sure. so that was, I, I don't know what to do with that information. I just, oh. it, it happened today. Like, it happened three hours ago. So I was just like, well. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, that rarely happens. Take it for what it is. And then I was like, wh- I didn't know how to end the conversation. I was like, how's life been going? Yeah. She's like, so oh, I've had, a ba- I've had a baby. Whoa. Okay. I was like, whoa. Okay. Um, and that, that's a new 
with a wrinkle the, that's that with a dude that she was with during the COVID pandemic lockdown that they're not together. And I was just like, okay, well, I gotta, I gotta, and then she beat me to the, I gotta go. Well, she's like, well, uh, I got, I got to study for some anyway. test and I got a client coming in. I was like, yeah, you, she said three things she had to go for. And I was like, I don't believe any of these. <laughs> I was just like, all right, well, I'll talk to you. Never. Okay. I don't know. I got chicken burning. Uh, you find that site. Yes. The site is 1920.in. You basically go to the Indiana? site. Yeah, yes. Or Indiana. Do they have their own internet? Uh, no. Could be short for internet. Could be. Uh, go on freenom.com anyway. freenom if you want a country code domain. Okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can go on there and it gives you three choices send an SMS, WhatsApp, or an email. And then you can copy and paste, and it'll give you an email address or a, a phone number or SMS. I hit the, hit the little plus for everything. Uh -huh. go out. But, uh, yeah, no response. Yeah. Still waiting they might to not have, back. They might not have the you ability kind of to talk out. outside of the country. You may only oh, have to oh. WhatsApp them, probably. Yeah. Apparently, that's what they all do. Yeah. Um. All them crazy white people over there. Yeah, the, uh, what's interesting on the business side of all the, the uh, Ukrainian-Russian war, which I don't know if it's me, it feels like the news of this has died down a little bit in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I hope it stays that way. Well, I'm not... Relatively, a, it's, not so much, I mean, it just seems like... like the, the war's upped its ante. Right, right, but I'm saying, like, hopefully they're not piping in with horrible, horrible news, you know, like... If it's kind of what it is right now, I mean, I hate to say it, but you kind of take it. Yeah. It, Although I didn't pay attention the last couple of days. What happened? I don't know. I, I you're think, just saying it up to Danny. No, if I, it feels that way. I, I've, I've oh. in vibe stuff. I, you know, I don't really seek out news, so it comes okay. my way, kind of thing. Kind of how you have your life set up. Like, I, yeah, we don't really, we're not CNN, Fox News junkies or anything like that no for sure like when's the last time you purposely turned one of those channels on oh my god when, i don't know if i probably I've in ever... your 20s when you're like i should i should right. start watching I'm the news grown-ups <laughs> right. i'm gonna be responsible show mom and dad i can do it what's interesting is the um you know uh the companies that have pulled out of russia and the ones that haven't for business reasons. Ooh, what are the ones that have it? Do we uh, have a list of those? I can find one. I have. I saw a a meme of it. Like, these are the countries that have not pulled out of Russia, uh, or businesses that have not pulled out of Russia. Well, I mean, that's you know, gotta stop buying from those guys. They're probably shit that you can't live without. And my biggest thing was I thought we got all our oil from Canada, um, which was like the biggest like misnomers. Um, here we go. Business Insider, you slutty slut website. It pulled out. While many are, were quick to pull out of <laughs> pull out of Russia in the aftermath. Did you come in? Other others have been slow to retreat, like McDonald's, Coca Cola, Starbucks. Well, okay. The w crazy thing that I did see on Reddit was a uh, video. Inside a you know like a grocery store, there there's nothing. They're already there. There's nothing on the shelves already. So it, and those people aren't fighting that right, war. Right, That's what right, sucks. It's right. like oh, they they have the regular people too. And most it's like one percent maybe. You're telling me that they don't sucks. get Oreo, Ritz, Cadbury, Trident gum? <laughs> what? That... Business, Business Insider is like the. It is like. Uh, the tabloid for business articles. Business tabloid. It's so gar. It's it. It makes LinkedIn's articles look a lot like. Ooh, oh, these I totally are Harvard, know what you're talking about. Harvard man. Business Review. Oh wait, we got a top ten list here. Uh, Salvador Ferragamo. Doesn't the, care. The Italian fashion company. Right, wow. Care. Mars. Okay. Not not super but necessary. But they're interstellar. So. What are? Mars. Ooh. Okay. Hey, oh. Whiskas, Kit Kat, Pedigree, Chappie, Sheba Brands. All right. I don't know any of those shit. Kimberly Clark. Bitch. 
Beach. That's uh, the toilet company. Well, they own uh, Kleenex, Kotex, and Cottonelle, so good luck wiping your ass, Everything blowing your nose. Everything in the toilet department. Tissues. No, they're good. They're still there. Right? These are the ones that are still yeah. in Russia. Um, yes. Just letting yeah. those Russians pee and poop. I'm just saying, want. like, the, none of these have any effect. It's the purpose. Cody? Toy cosmetic toy. company? These are all fucking fluff. Hilton's still around? Oh, yeah. Hyatt's still there? Uh, uh, International Continental? <laughs> all the hotels. Yeah. One, one could say they should... I, uh, what, are they hotel, supposed, what are they supposed to do? I mean, Marriott? I know. All the okay, five hotel conglomerates. Like, the thing you own is there. Like you can't pick it up and move it. Can't put your uh, hotel on wheels and drive it off. The interesting one's Pornhub. I'm getting out of there. I wonder if that'll have some crazy effects. You want to know what's funny? I live stream studio. What we used to film this podcast mm-hmm. had an update today, and then once I blew it up, opened it up. At the top, it said, live stream studio made in uh, bomb shelters in Ukraine. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, shit. What? That's interesting. And that's, you know, and we're using it, you know, for... I don't some, give a shit. Some branding guy... Some people you, call me cool, Eric. In the live that's stream. Shit. Some, some branding guy in live stream is like, we gotta, we gotta talk Maybe about this. Maybe we should let the Russians win. Uh, no, they're like, we gotta, we gotta promote this fact <laughs> about us. Yeah, hey, use it. Use what you want. Um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so I guess a bunch of energy companies are exiting a bunch of finance companies. That could really hurt. You said all the, the real rich oligarch money is all kind of hidden. Oh, they're going crazy. People are uh, taking over boats and houses. Yeah, but the one the one thing that like Russia has been through before is like having nothing. Sure. Right. They barely had much to begin with. Everything in Russia looks like it sucks. Yeah, it always all their ha- stuff. Sucks. It always looks gray. And every it always looks old as fuck. Gray and blue colors. Like, how are they still making new things from the eighties? Crocodile. I mean, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing ever like, wow, that's slick <laughs> from Russia. Like, yeah. No, it's utilitarian, and they fucking <laughs> doesn't even do that. It doesn't work either. I like taking a stab at the accent. <laughs> Um, it, well, I think it's interesting. I don't, I mean, I don't have much more anything than, than what we've just talked about. I'm not like, I'm what in a mean? rut. I don't know. Oh, you're I'm just, in a funk. You're all fucked up and that girl calling you. Um, my feelings, my feelings are all over the place. No, 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 not fucking thing sucks. So everybody's going to say about this episode and it's your fault. I say we just call it. Why? Oh why continue God. the madness? What? We're not. We we did half an episode. What? We get, I ought to make you just sit here. <laughs> and time out. Yeah, time out. How about that? My bra- my brain ain't working. That's uh. You want ten tools to acquire more customers in twenty twenty two? Not really. Not from you with your attitude right now. <laughs> Well, can I do that? What do you got? What's, the, uh, pod, I got the podcast board. <laughs> so what, what is, what's going on in your brain? What is, what's in your noggin? Some people call me cool, Eric. You uh, we can talk. Like, you know I what? Do. My uh, my daughter started a business on Sunday, where she went around and stole the uh, Japanese plums out of my neighbor's yard. Mm-hmm. She doesn't realize it's stealing. But I'm like, you know, you can't be too blatant about that. Like you bring a basket down there and shit. And uh, her and her friend set up outside on the corner of my house selling bags of these things to all my neighbors Mm -hmm. at a dollar a bag. And, like, I went in to try and tell me if I'm being a dick. I was trying to take a minute to explain some business stuff (laughs) while she's doing it. And I'm like, I remember, you got to pay me. You got to pay me for those bags you're putting them in. And, And Jess was like, don't do that. I'm like, what? Why? I was like, this, I thought this was a teachable moment. Um, well, I'm sure you didn't just come up and go, you got to pay me. I'm sure it came in a conversation 
of like, is, was she like, this is pure profit? <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she didn't get into it. No. All of this revenue is mine. It's going right up my no nose, Dad. Overhead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she said. It, I don't know. I, I, I'd probably do the same thing. I know. I guess I, I can don't know be why am I asking you. I can be autistic about it, so I, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like um, it's kind of Ron White, or Ron White, Ron um, <laughs> Parks and Rec, Ron. Uh, <laughs> do you want to let me die on that? Um, uh, who's the guy? <laughs> Nick Offerman? Ron. Nick Offerman on Parks and Rec. Yeah. There's a, there's an animal, there's a bird in his name. Uh, brain's not working, dude. Uh, it's not going to jog anything. I'm not going to tell you. I I'm was almost I was almost asleep in a recliner right before we started. So oh, okay. Um, Funches, that's a comic. Uh, John. Ron Livingston. Ron John. <laughs> Ron, uh, John's the bad grocery store in L.A. Ron and Ron. Uh, Swanson. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. He I mean, the scene where he talks about taxes, and he eats the little girl sandwich. Uh, yeah. He goes, let me teach you about taxes. And he just eats the fucking, almost the whole sandwich. Right. Um, it's kind of, that's what it reminded me of. That's oh, all. okay. <laughs> all right, fine. I'll let you off the hook. All right. What about my sweat equity? Sometimes you don't have to use sweat up all equity. the time. Yeah. Sweat equity. My sweat equity. My, my sweat equity. What about my sweat equity?